guys, JR here for more power tuning. I'm gonna go over the install of the JMS Boost Max on our 2012 F-150 EcoBoost. After that, we'll strap it down to our dyno and see how much power it makes. First, let's take a look at what's included in the box. Of course, we've got the instructions. Here we have the Boost Max module. Contains a microprocessor and connection to the harness, zip ties, small screwdriver, and uh, the red chip. Here's the adjustment knob. Set it to 50% for 87 octane, 90% for 91 octane, or 100% for 93 octane. And then here's the plug and play wiring harness. The Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor, or MAP sensor, is right on top of the motor. You'll need to pull off the engine cover to see it. The Turbo Inlet Pressure Sensor, or TIP sensor, is right before the throttle body. Here's the brains of the JMS Boost Max. Just plug it in and secure those two screws. Secure the module in place with the included zip ties. We're going to take this end of the harness and run it through the firewall into the cabin of the vehicle. Over on the driver's side of the firewall, there's a pretty big rubber grommet that's pretty easy to move out of the way. All right, here in the cabin, we're gonna connect the adjustment knob and the throttle position sensor. The throttle position sensor is right on top of the accelerator pedal. There's a red retaining clip. You just push it up and then pull the rest of the plug out. You had a few options of where to place the adjustment knob. I decided to put a small piece of double-sided tape on the back of the knob and stick it right here on the center console. The kit doesn't come with any tape, I just happen to have some handy. You could also mount it over by the brake release mechanism using one of the screws that are there from the factory. Make sure to use zip ties to secure any loose wiring or cables. And now we're ready to run the truck on the back. First we'll run the truck with the boost max turned off with the adjustment knob set to zero. On this next run, with the boost max set to 100% for 93 octane, you might notice a couple things. It's not going to take quite as long to get up the red line, and it's going to be a little bit loud. Here you can see that there were definitely some measurable gains. You're looking at an increase of 69 horsepower and 59 pound-feet of torque. Maximum recorded boost pressure jumped from 14 PSI up to about 20 PSI. And there you have it. The JMS Boost Max is definitely a great way to go to increase the performance of your 3.5 liter F-150 EcoBoost. While great on its own, we highly recommend combining it with the JMS Pedal Max. The Pedal Max is also very easy to install. You just connect it to the throttle position sensor and it helps make the throttle response less laggy. And just as easily as they were to install, they can both be uninstalled at any time without leaving a trace at all. Both of these are available from morepowertuning.com.
Hey guys. Mm. Great. <clears throat> hey guys.